Happy Saturday, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali, if you guys are new. I got home so late last night from Kayla's Christmas cookie party, so we didn't do like pickup shift at night, so the place is looking a little crazy, but I just got something really exciting delivered. I caved and finally bought the Canon G7X, and I'm so excited to like use it for flash photos and just like take it out with my friends because it's so much smaller than the vlog camera that I use right now. I don't know if you guys watch Clara's vlogs, Clara Purse, but her quality is like really good. And so I messaged her. I was like, hey, do you use the Canon G7X? Because I was trying to justify it more than like just taking the photos. I got us breakfast. Obviously, Bird Bird Biscuit, that's our favorite. But anyways, I got the Canon G7X Mark III and I'm gonna see what it's like to like vlog on it because I was just like, might be nice to like have a smaller camera. I feel like this will also motivate me to vlog more in public. Vlogging on the new camera, we're gonna test it out. We're headed over to Lady Bird Lake because I really wanna go on a walk. Just be active today and like really enjoy how beautiful it is out today. The sky is like perfectly blue. There's like no clouds in the sky and I just can't get over it. And all the um, like leaves are changing for like the fall. Even though it's December and not like October, November, they're like just changing and starting to fall off the trees. So we definitely wanna see them before it's all bare. So are you excited? We're going to the park. We're listening to Tate McRae's newest album. Sophie's singing. We're here at Vic Mathias, aka Auditorium Shores. And look at all of the leaves. It's so pretty here. And it's so nice out. We literally brought the speaker so we can continue listening to Tate McRae on our walk. What? The trees on outside the water. He's getting ganked up on by these dogs. We got home, I gave Sophie a bath, I took a shower, got ready, and we watched Sunset, the reunion. I honestly love the OC more, and they gave like a little sneak peek for the trailer, and I'm so excited. I feel like it's filled with way more drama, like crazy drama, because like these people are just like ready to attack each other. But so much more entertaining. Here's the outfit of the night. My shirt is from Forever 21. It was like literally less than 20 bucks. I think I just looked and online it's like $12 and it's actually such good quality. Like it's ribbed and really thick and I can't remember if I got a medium just to like be a little bit more tight up here. I'm just wearing those nipple covers. They're called cakes. And then my pants are from Target, which these I got for like $24 or maybe $25. I think they were on sale when I bought them too. But regular price, I think they're like $35, which is still really not that bad for some fun festive holiday pants. And then I'm just wearing my Knowles heels, which honestly, I really keep saying this, but I need to buy new heels because I just feel like they're, they're fine. But I just feel like I can be a little bit more elevated. I just packed my sleepover bag. I've not had a sleepover in so long, so this is going to be so fun and we're going to make it a little festive. But first, we're going to do drinks and then go to my friend's friend's party because I think it's her birthday, so she didn't want to miss that. But then we're going to come back to my friend's house and make it really festive and watch Christmas movies and all that stuff. We're at Kiana's. And the party we're going to tonight is like circus themed. Look how cute. Otherwise, Wait. this would not be my normal look. <laughs> so I have to make that, that clear. Wait, let me zoom into the heart. Cute. She's always to theme. She always goes so hard. Love it. Well, I have a red jacket that I'm gonna wear, so this is like like ringleader esque. I had so many mixers left over for my birthday pregame, so I brought some lemon drop over and then some of this vodka over, and I'm just gonna like literally pour them two together. I don't think you have to add anything else. I just put ice 
in here. And we're gonna put this lemon drop mix. Kiana just gifted me the anthropology little shot glasses for my birthday slash housewarming out. Thank you, honey. Really. <laughs> Cheers to Mackenzie's last week. I love you guys. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Oh God. I do that with my apple cider vinegar. I go, oh god, yeah. The best trick for taking shots, you like breathe in, take the shot, and breathe out with your mouth like wide open and just go. Oh, she's talking to you guys. Are you listening? <laughs> and so that is when it's like so easy to take a shot. I'm gonna smell it. I hate this. It's gonna be your vlog. We are gonna cut it out. <laughs> you, I'm pretty sure, I was not like aware that you were filming like when we were at your house for hibachi when we were just talking in the kitchen. And I'm almost positive. I know. I cut it out. I cut out the best stuff. <laughs> I know. I, I watched you your watch vlog. I cut it out right, right when you were like, I was like, night. <laughs> oh my gosh. You should have been like, an edited version. I know. I, I, trust me, I listened to it. It was funny. <laughs> no, she caught me telling uh, Mackenzie and um, Maddie about how I Wait, I did not know that. We've been waiting in line at Nickel City for a very long time now. We're so excited. <laughs> We're so close. Thank God. How are we feeling, y'all? How are we feeling? So excited about my burger. I'm ready for a shot. <laughs> yes, we're taking shots immediately. How are you feeling, Mackenzie? Sober. Oh, God. oh my God. I had one drink before this. One drink. And a shot. Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> No, like you gotta turn around. There's action going on. Oh, was it an oh. accident? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Why are they paused? Are they gonna brawl? I feel like the Nissan could have stopped. No, I literally <laughs> they were talking. Wait, they reality. must have hit because why are they? We're <laughs> in. <laughs> It is Monday and I've been filming and editing and honestly when I was editing this vlog I was like oh my god this freaking Canon G7X is so shitty for video at least that was before I like customized any of the settings which I really didn't change much just now except for the frame rate um so it was at like 25 frames per second or something like that and I changed it to 50 frames per second so I think that will help a little bit but like I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison especially of the mic because the mic was so shitty especially when I used it in the car the camera I'm filming on currently is the Sony a7 IV and obviously it's really not fair to be comparing both of these cameras because this body is very expensive even though the Canon G7X is not cheap but I use this camera that I'm vlogging on for like my photography business and the lens that I'm using is the Tamron where does it say 17 to 28 millimeters so it definitely has a wider angle and you can actually zoom this lens which you could zoom on the Canon G7X, it's just not the same. <laughs> like, not the same quality, I don't really think. So anyways, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. And I also know that people um, get, like, mics for their Canon G7X. I just didn't want to really have to do all that. Start it. Right off the bat, you can see how much wider the Sony a7 IV is compared to the G7X Mark III. We'll do a little mic test with the Canon G7X. Honestly, the autofocus is also not great on this thing. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. But what's keeping me around for this camera is that the photos that we took this weekend are actually really good. And it's like a really small 
digital camera that I can take wherever. Going back to the Sony a7 IV, really just can't be this quality. When I tell you guys, my arm is hurting so much because it's so freaking heavy. It's like literally doing an arm workout with one arm because the Canon G7X is just so much lighter. And that is why I usually use a tripod to vlog because I literally just cannot keep holding this. I literally just don't understand why the autofocus is so bad on this camera. I do like to shoot on manual mode, so maybe that's why it's having some issues. But even when I changed it to auto, it was just like not given what it needed to give. So uh, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna keep it for the photos because like those were like seriously so good. And I'm excited to like take this traveling and stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it really meets the standard for my videos. It's almost five. I'm actually pretty hungry, so I'm just heating up some soup dumplings from Trader Joe's. Pretty soon we have to leave to go to Alma Draft House because we're seeing the premiere of Wonka. I think that's what it's called, but it's like the new Willy Wonka movie. And guys, Willy Wonka is like one of my favorite movies ever. I really just don't know if it's going to compare to like the first and the second versions. I've heard that this is a prequel and I think it's a musical and I don't think Ryan knows that. And he doesn't like musicals, so <laughs> we will see. But I think we might get like a snack at Alamo Draft House. Definitely getting some popcorn. But I've never actually been to the one in Mueller. I only went to the one on South Lamar. And I think it's like the original one. I don't know, I might get hate for this because I know it's like iconic to Austin, but like it just was not my personal like favorite way to watch a movie. Like the seats were just like a little janky and I don't know if it was the theater that they sat us in because it was another premiere with this like one company that does premieres in Austin. But I think I've heard that the other locations are a little bit nicer. So I'll keep you guys updated with that. Pulling up to Alamo Draft House in Mueller and I feel like we have not been to Mueller in a while. There's like Christmas lights everywhere. Well guys, apparently Ryan did know it's a musical. I thought I could pull a fast one on him. I look up every musical ever, so I know what not to watch. <laughs> and every Bollywood movie, uh, I scratch out on the list. Yeah, see, this is the issue. Every Indian movie was a musical, and so I think that's why I'm trained to like them. I think my theory is that you can get away with a really bad movie by making it a musical. That's true, because remember that one with Will Ferrell and Ryan Ryan, Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> It was so bad. I mean, it literally was just last Christmas, right? What was it called? I can't even remember. And like, I didn't know it was a musical. It was a Christmas movie, literally last year. And it was like, it was someone was a ghost ago. or something. No, I thought I thought we watched it last year. It was a long time ago. I'm talking it was not last year. Oh, well, never mind. But anyways, it was so bad and I love musicals and like they had to sing song every word but it wasn't even catchy like if you're gonna do a musical make it catchy make it something i can sing later like high school musical or something like that spirited in 2022 that's what it was let me know if you guys hated it too hated it you liked it when you no i did not you literally said no i didn't i think i fell asleep in it too and that is the indicator of if it's a good movie or not, if I fell asleep. Which, to update you guys, I did fall asleep during Candy Cane Lane, so I don't know if it's good because I think I fell asleep a little too early. I was just really it's tired. Not. What about Last Christmas, though? Like that one? <laughs> we have an ongoing joke, like, every Christmas. That that Last Christmas movie Who was, in it? was the worst movie ever. Um, her, is her name Emily Clark or Emile Clark uh, or something? I don't know. Tell from the, the actual worst movie I've ever seen. Yes, yeah, so bad. And the guy from Crazy Rich Asians, and obviously they're both really popular at the time, so we thought it was gonna be like the movie of like the decade. Mm -mm. It literally took the most random turn. Anyways, I'm just really hoping that this Willy Wonka movie is gonna be good because I've been looking forward to it for a very long time, but the one thing I love about Willy Wonka is like all the graphics of like the chocolate fountain and everything like in the factory and I feel like if it's a prequel then you just want to see Timothy Chalamet I don't really care I don't, I don't care to see him covered in chocolate and I don't care about Timothy, Timothy Chalamet that could change after this movie so kind of crazy but we got our tickets and we're heading to the theater all right we're literally in the front row got here early just to not do this but it's okay <laughs> we're seeing the Wonka movie and where's my Oompa Loompas at Let's go! My name's Ethan Diamond. Uh, I'm really excited to introduce this movie, The Wonka. I mean, I grew up with the original Wonka, not in the 70s, but when I grew up, that was the only Wonka out. So I was really excited when this came out to be able to host. And uh, I'd like to thank, uh, who, who do we want to thank first? Warner Bros. 
And uh, Fonz PR, obviously, Fonz PR for putting this on. Um, you guys. <laughs> we have two uh, different um, no, opinions on the movie. She said it's her favorite movie ever now. Yeah, it is. And I really didn't think that. <laughs> I, I don't know why like, I was I didn't. Like, I was, I'm in a really uncomfortable seat and still watch the whole thing. Is that good? Yeah. It was good. Like, I'll say that. I was like, yeah, <laughs> honestly, the seat didn't really even matter. And I'm shocked that it didn't because I was, like, kind of sad about it at first. But, guys, the movie was so cute. Like, so cute. And I don't know if I just, like, really like <laughs> Willy Wonka. But <laughs> it was almost like... Because it was such a childhood movie, it was like my favorite Child movie. Disney <laughs> <laughs> Ryan loves to say, I, I've always wanted to be a Disney actress. And to that I say, yeah, duh, no shit. He just murders all the kids in the movie. He drowns them in chocolate and then kills them. So he's a serial killer. I, <laughs> I never thought he was a serial killer until he told me that. I kind of ruined it. <laughs> Anyways. It seems so nice in this one. Yeah. What happens? Well, he gets bitter, remember? But why does he get bitter? They didn't say, they didn't talk about that. They talked about his childhood, you know, with the dad as the dentist. But like, when does he get so bitter? Anyways, I got some merch, a little Willy Wonka shirt. Although it was the last one and it was a small, but I was like, Sophie I'm was about there. to cop. Yeah, we can get it for Sophie. And they gave us little Wonka um, candles. Like legit, I'm gonna peel this off and put it in my scrapbook. <laughs> And sure. it smells really good actually. It's like very Christmassy. Guys, I got all the merch because now I'm like the Wonka movie's biggest fan. I'm not even just saying that. Yeah, it was Wonka really cute. Halloween. Oh yeah, I was Willy Wonka. Insert picture here. And <laughs> Ryan was Grandpa Joe. The is coming out this Friday, so definitely go see it because it was so cute. And especially if you like musicals, I like musicals. And maybe that's probably why I loved it so much. But I think just all in all, it was just like, so it just tied back into my childhood because I loved Willy Wonka. Anyways, I'll stop rambling about this damn movie, but go see it. Good morning, we are up early and we're doing something that I haven't done in literally so long, which is go on a run and honestly just work out in general. I feel like the last time I like really worked out was when I was doing those um, like hot classes. I was doing True Fusion for a while and then my friends stopped doing it, so I stopped doing it, and it was more of like a socialization thing. Um, but then, like, we started going into like the house buying process, and then we started moving, and then we bought a house. And you know, I'm just making excuses, but life got kind of busy, and now we're out of our apartment, and we don't have our apartment gym, which was so freaking nice. That was like an amenity that I will for sure miss because. One thing about me is that I hate driving to the gym. I hate driving to a workout. And if I could just like walk to, you know, a treadmill downstairs, I would. And that was so nice. And like, especially if I'm running, I'd rather run on the treadmill. We do have a treadmill, but it's an under the desk treadmill. And like, I've never tried running on it. I don't, I don't really trust myself without like the handlebars along the sides of it. So I'll probably only ever walk on that treadmill. Um, but we have a neighborhood now, so I'm like, maybe I should just like try to go for a run. I don't even know if I can run, that's the thing. And I asked Ryan to get up with me um, to like teach me how to run again because like he used to be super into running. He loves to have his phases and I think it was like during this time of the year or maybe like in the beginning of the year, he got super into running one year and he like bought all the shoes and like did all this research and so I think I just need help with my form because um, I feel like I take too long of strides that I get tired too quick. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing this morning. I wanted to do a hair mask because I'm gonna wash my hair. So let's put that in. Using this hair mask this morning from Vegamore. And I'll probably just put my hair in a bun. It's really cold outside. What'd you say? I don't know if you're hair on your beanie or something. Really? Yeah, like your hair wet outside in the cold. Oh, shoot. I didn't think about that. Ryan said I shouldn't have my hair wet outside in the cold because it's like 30 something. Oops. Oh, wait. I have earmuffs. Oh, it's your head. Here, you know this one. This is old. No, no. I don't want to put my hair in a beanie. Why? I just put a mask on. No. Yeah. 
drop it in. You want me to get my, your beanie all gross? You really want, you know. You're like, I can have it all in, in my C1 right now. That's okay. I'll, I'll wear my earmuffs. Oh, babe, if you're going upstairs, can you get my earmuffs? Your hair is wet, right? It's not wet. It's just the tips. It's just the tips. It's not wet, I swear. Got my personal trainer behind me. Oh yeah, personal trainers. Sophie's training me too. It actually feels really nice out. It's like 30 something, but it feels like very refreshing out. I lost my Apple Watch in the move. I know it's somewhere in the house, but like I just have not found it yet. So <laughs> we are using this Runkeeper app that I've used since high school, I think. It just like tells me how uh, far I've gone. So that's really all I need. We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. And I just realized I was running downhill. So wish me luck back up here. Finished one mile in like 18 minutes. <laughs> Not my best. Back from my run. Ryan was Stay there good. for moral support. Kind of. <laughs> On the once you pass me. <laughs> <laughs> and my calves are burning. Now I just need a stretch. And I think I might do some arm workouts because like I'm already sweaty and I feel like the arms need a little work and a little, a little help right now too. Now I'm getting so hot in here. It was like nice to be like cold and like refreshed outside. First quarter it was literally going downhill and I was like, oh, this isn't that bad. And then I realized I was going downhill. I was like, shit. <laughs> I mean, it was still like hard running downhill. Like it wasn't like super like steep. So I was still running, but anyways, I'm proud of myself and hopefully the time will just get shorter and shorter. I got these little weights during quarantine and I, I think I bought them on Facebook Marketplace. I can't really remember, but basically weights at the time were so damn expensive because everyone was working out from home. And so I scored these five pounders. Probably just gonna look up a YouTube video on like bar arm exercises. Just like those small movements that really burn. At shoulder height, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 For a shower, I thought this would be a workout too, so I'm actually washing my couch covers for the first time ever. This couch is from Wayfair, and I've had it for over a year now. Obviously, it's pure wet, so it definitely gets dirty. I put blankets out usually, but like Ryan doesn't love the blankets on the couch, so he doesn't sit on the blankets. And I've come to realize you really truly can't trust anyone with a white couch. Even though we're all adults these days, but like spills happen, and even if you put the blankets down, things happen and obviously it just has gotten a little dingy over the past year. It really doesn't pick it up on camera, but let me see if I can show you up close. You can tell kind of more by the stitching that it's just like a little bit dingy. So I thought, why not? They're made to be washed, so let's try it out. Lost press on, told you it was gonna be hard work. <laughs> but this is the dingiest pillow out of all of them. I don't know how this happened. Maybe it like got really dirty in the move, but like, they wrapped it all up, so I'm kind of confused. Anyways, I haven't been using this pillow in a while because I'm just like looking real dirty. But I think I got all of the cushion covers off, so let's put them in the wash. Actually, before I put it in the wash, I want to use this like extra step. It's the OxyClean Max Force Laundry Stain Remover. I don't know. I feel like if I put it in some spots, maybe it'll help. It just be a lot more fresh. I'm so glad I'm finally getting around to this. I've been meaning to do this for a very long time and I really hope the couch looks brand new because that would be amazing obviously, but uh, it's gonna be a lot of work sticking the inserts back in these covers, especially the big one. That's not gonna be too fun. I'm inspecting every one of these covers and I feel like you guys can't see <laughs> like half the things that I see, but there are some stains, especially on the like main parts. Okay, this side looks so dingy, my goodness. All right, finally, a stain you guys can see. I have no idea what this is. I feel like someone sat here and like had something on their butt or like, I don't know. I didn't do this, but I randomly found it on my couch one day and yeah, kind of freaked out. So we're finally taking care of this and hopefully it comes out. But luckily, like we're able to flip all of the cushions. So we just flipped it over this whole time. I still would like that stain to come out. So we'll be keeping an eye on that one.
got ready and I blew up my hair for the first time in so long. I literally feel like a million bucks. I just popped open an Alani new. I feel like anytime I work out, I get so like fatigued middle of the day. But today I just need to like really, really clean. And I've been saying this for like a really long time, but I feel like that is always messy. And it's just so cluttered in here. And I finally did clean my office for the most part. So I did that over the weekend, which I felt really good about, but there's just some things that I could put away. Two of my friends are coming over tomorrow that haven't seen the house. So obviously I want it to look, you know, the best for them. So that's why I really want to get everything put away today. Oh gosh, they might need to be washed again because there's like literally a dirt line on this one. I wonder if the bleach fucked it up. And you know what? I probably should have read the directions on how to wash it, but I didn't. So <laughs> I wonder if they're all like that or if that's just one. I don't know. I feel like I thought they would look more clean. There's literally like dirt lines. And I feel like the bleach couldn't do like dirt lines like that. Like what the heck? That looks dirty. I'm shook. I mean, for the most part, it is wider where the dirt lines aren't oh my god they're everywhere what was in this like i didn't put anything else in here all right we're going in for a second round so what the heck It is looking a lot better in here, even though there's a lot of stuff still on the counters. Still waiting on the couch covers, cause you know, the situation, there was like still some dirt on them. I don't know what happened, but I rewashed them. And so we'll do that later on. I think there's like 24 minutes still in the washer. I did like extra power this time, but I vacuumed right here. So it looks really good and clean and it smells really good and clean in here. And the sun is out today, which I really did not think it was going to be because it said it was going to be cloudy. It is just so pretty in here when it's sunny. Also, I don't think I showed you guys these, but Ryan's grandpa makes stuff with wood. He makes um, those like windmill things that you put in your yard and this was this year's christmas gift i actually saw it during thanksgiving we just decided to take them home early because we had space in our suitcases this time but i know next time when we go back for christmas i will not have space we took our christmas presents home early but look how freaking cute they are they're little reindeer and of course it's special that he made it for us also update on the hammock guys i don't think i told you in the vlogs but the hammock does come in a separate package i don't know why they didn't tell us that Originally, it's apparently getting here tomorrow. Of course, the one day it's saying it's gonna rain, but hopefully it's not because like I said, it was supposed to be cloudy today. Just got home from a shoot. What the heck? I knew you wouldn't do it. Surprise. Yay. Do you like it? I love it. Should I try it out? Mm -hmm. Sophie, you wanna come up here? She loves the hammock. Oh, it's kinda low, huh? Can you raise it some more? Oh, you can? Maybe we should. Oh, <laughs> Sophie just hit her head on the camera. Yeah. Let me show you. Yeah. Wow. This is just what dreams are made of, huh? Mm -hmm. The pillow is pretty <laughs> flat, but. Oh. I didn't realize there was a pillow. Mm -hmm. Your hands, my, my pillow. <gasps> Do you love it? I told you you would love it. Oh. It's just swing. It's just mm -hmm. like the apartment, Sophie. But better is it on your... Yeah, I swear I can hear a rooster in the morning sometimes. There's roosters on like the road. Okay, back that's there. what I thought, but like, how, so how am I able to hear it? Yeah, I know it's mm. so weird. Anyways, oh, I'm pooped. I just shot a family with a little, a little baby, yeah, and it was really hard to. It wasn't annoying, so but it was you really were there. You're the little baby. She's not even a little baby. She's 11 years old. This baby is like literally five months old. It was really hard to get her attention. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? So you're just like screaming at the baby the whole time. Like, forehead. look over here. What? You're just gonna make all over Sophie's forehead. Oops. Sorry, Sophie. Now you're orange. Sophie, you're orange. Isn't it crazy? Sophie has a higher IQ than that five month old baby. Really? You're a smart girl, probably, yeah. Oh. Oh. Of course you do. Sorry, Sophie. Why did I doubt you? I don't know. She said, I know what are you hungry means. Oh. Is it time? Are you hungry? She speaks English. Are you hungry? 
the look she gives go. us you when she's go. hungry. You're oh. hungry. You better go in there. Are you hungry, Sophie? You hungry? Are you okay? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You're hopping from. What? You're hungry, aren't you? I'm literally so hungry. No, I'm, I'm hungry. so hungry. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Are you? Are you? <laughs> Sophie, are you hungry? Ah! <laughs> Guys, throw back to these freaking Uggs. <laughs> oh, Look what? at them. Look it's at my so little cute. Uggs. Yeah, so I said you're middle school Uggs when you walk in. Oh my god. <laughs> my middle school Uggs. Be well, <laughs> they be leaning. Oh my gosh. Basically, whenever I go to shoot at this one location, I always get eaten by bugs, like no matter the temperature, even though it's cold out. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear my protective gear. <laughs> Because they always bite my ankles and it's so annoying. Well, what do you think? I think the base isn't big enough. <laughs> what do you mean big enough? Like, it needs to be like longer because I have it almost all the way up. Oh. Yeah, I guess we can tighten it a little bit. Can you help me up? Yes. <laughs> oh, Joe, getting out of bed. <laughs> Bonka. Ryan's back isn't feeling too great. <laughs> Thanks. Do you want to keep it up here or move it to the grass? You can move it eventually, I guess. Of course, it just got here. And tomorrow is so rainy. Even today it was like sunny. I mean, I guess I told you guys this, but yeah, I'm excited about it though. When it's nice outside, I'm going to like literally live on this. Update on the covers. They actually look brand spanking new. I'm so glad I rewashed them. It really did help a lot. I don't know why it had like a dirt line across these, but we're gonna put them on. You're joking, Ryan just found this on the couch. So I didn't wash one of them, but we can at least do a comparison. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one is definitely whiter than that. It looks so dingy compared to this. Oh my God, Rye. It really did make such a big difference. 